people from uh, Holland, from the Netherlands. We have Kemal. Assalamu alaikum, Kemal. Wa alaikum assalam. Welcome to the show, Akhi. Go ahead. I have, a, I have a question. Yes, go ahead, please. I had, I had a girlfriend. Okay, you're a Muslim, yes, Kemal? Yes. Where do you come from originally, Kemal? What do you say? Uh, where do you come from originally? Where is your have, home country? Uh, from, uh, from Morocco. Sorry, from? Morocco. Morocco, okay, mashallah. Go ahead, yes. I'm calling from the Netherlands because I'm born in the Netherlands. Okay, so you have a girlfriend? I had. Yes, okay. And, and uh, she's an uh, non she does she believe in God, but she is not a Muslim or Christian or Jewish. Okay, how old are you, uh, Kamal? I'm uh, 21. 21, mashallah, okay. And now she has believed me, and I'm depressed. Uh, say that. Say that again. Okay. You said your your girlfriend. She believes in God, but she's not Muslim. Okay. Yeah. We'll take it from there. Yes. What happened after that? You have a girlfriend. Yes. What What do you say? I mean, what happened after that? Okay. What did you say after, after this? That uh, we we have a uh, discussion about God and this and that. Yeah. And she was uh, angry, and she said that. Uh, I cannot say it because it hurts me when she talks uh, bad about the woman of the prophet. Yes. And then we had, uh, I don't speak good English, but... Okay, first of all, Kamal, can, can you put the volume down please on the TV because I'm getting the feedback. So it's, okay. it's creating interference, I can't hear you well. Yes, go ahead. So you, you had a discussion about God and she had some uh, reservations about the wives of the prophets? Did I get you yes, right? She called them by some ugly names. Okay. And she called the prophet uh, to, uh, ugly. She said he was uh, a womanizer. Okay. And uh, now, now she puts an end to the relationship. Okay, okay. So w w how did you respond to her, uh, to her accusations? I, I said, it is, I, I don't know so much about Islam because I am I'm born as a Muslim, but I don't give the education. So, but I said, but it's not true. He was not a womanizer. Yes. He said that the Prophet was married to a nine-year girl or so it's like, something like that. Yes. Okay. Pedophile, something like that. And I was angry, but yeah. Okay, you know, on before you go, let me just say something. MashaAllah, first of all, thank you for uh, sharing your story with us. I'm, I'm very grateful that you uh, called in, that you took the pains of calling in, yeah, the, that you have the courage to talk about this on, on the phone. I'm really thankful for that. And uh, MashaAllah, I can feel that you have this uh, sense of concern for Islam and for the Prophet Sallallahu so when she used these words to describe the Prophet you were angry you were not happy now this is a good start but I will elaborate more inshallah and I have a piece of advice like accept it to be like from your brother if you'd like to remain on the line you can remain on the line if you have to follow up that's fine uh, mashallah brother you are a Muslim and this is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a Muslim means that you are a person who embraces the universal realities of this life. Okay? That you really know the, the eternal realities and truths about this life. Why this life, what this life is all about. Why did Allah create us? Where we are heading to? Other people don't have these realities. So this is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now with regards to your girlfriend and what you should do, Brother, as I said, as Muslims, we, the, the privilege and the advantage that we have is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us and has given us clearly the realities that govern this world. And once we embrace these eternal realities, your life will go in a direction that will grant you happiness in this life and in the next and will grant you as well success because basically you can put everything in its right place. Now I'm very appreciative that we have a younger generation who grew up in the West like Kemal in the Netherlands 
or m many of our younger generations who live in Europe, in, in North America, in Australia, and, and in different parts, South America, different parts of the world, they're going through difficult times. I understand this. Now, they are, they are growing between two cultures. First of all, I have to clarify to Brother Kamal that, Brother, it is impermissible. That means it is haram to have a girlfriend. So this is something that Islam does not accept. And the reason for that, that the relationship between man and woman has been created and has been uh, put that way by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to serve a purpose. And that purpose is to worship Allah. You know, the ultimate goal of the relationship between man and woman is to help man make it through this life and satisfy his needs and her needs in the right way in order to help them reach the ultimate goal of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which means basically loving Allah subhanahu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the totality of your heart and having hope and fear in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a something, the, the notion of worship is something very human. Is something, of course, it is something very, very human. Everything in this life helps us get to that stage. And all marriage is something like that. So the relationship between man and woman should be within the boundaries of marriage, the wedlock. Outside that, believe me, brother, it will cause you so much damage to your heart, to your spirit, and to you, so even to your psychology. And even the final tally will bring you destruction in this life. But I'm very happy that when she spoke, when your girlfriend spoke bad about the Prophet وسلم, that you found that resistance, you found that anger, and this is a sign of goodness in your heart, mashallah. My advice would be generally, speak to your girlfriend, invite her to Islam. Try to have more discussions. You can go to someone who has some knowledge about Islam. There are Imams in Holland who have good knowledge about Islam. You can go to them. You can go and sit down and speak to them. I know many people who are very well known. You can go and speak to them. They can explain to her Islam and respond to the reservations and the points that she has. And if she accepts Islam, offer her marriage. And maybe if, if this is what you want. Uh, other than that, my advice, do not stay with her in that relationship. Unless she becomes, uh, comes to the stage where she, where she understands Islam and she will accept it inshallah and you can marry. That would be my advice. My advice to you personally, brother, try to stick more to the masjid, to the Islamic centers there in Holland. Try to learn your religion. Believe me, by learning your religion, you will grow in spirit and you will grow in person and your character will grow and you will start to see yourself in a better way. And then when somebody talks about Islam, you will be able to respond because you will be defending yourself and you will be defending your religion, inshallah. Uh, believe me, Brother Kamal, people like you, the younger generation of Islam, they, you are ambassadors of Islam. So actually, there's a great responsibility on you. And I, what I see for the younger generation, you know, the gates for, a, glo for uh, a glorious history are at our doorsteps. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us opportunity, an opportunity at this time that maybe He has never given any generation before. Yes, we live at a uh, difficult time, but you know the secret to great successes and great achievements has always been challenge. And we have a huge challenge today. So if we really understand the level of the challenge and the intensity of the challenge we have today and deal with it according to the sunnah and the seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Wallahi brother, there is a great history and a great future waiting for people like you because you can carry the message of Islam. Maybe this is a message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that your girlfriend is ready to break, uh, uh, destroy this relationship and just break away from you. Maybe this is a message from Allah that you should wake up, that this is not your way of life. Your way of life is actually in getting back to your real roots, to your natural purpose for which you are created. So maybe you can shoulder a great responsibility and hopefully you can secure a better place for yourself in the history of mankind as somebody who carries the message and will be able to write history for the years to come insha'Allah.